This video is designed to discuss chlorine chemistry in the context of disinfection. There are various different types of chlorine chemical concepts, but our main focus is around hypochlorous acid and sodium hypochlorite, or traditional bleach. By the end of this video, you'll be able to understand the difference between hypochlorous acid and sodium hypochlorite. Rather than taking certain marketing claims like hypochlorous acid is 70 to 80 times more effective than bleach at face value, you'll be able to understand why that is the case and why hypochlorous acid is a better alternative for infection prevention. Before we start, let's first talk about what chlorine is. According to the CDC, chlorine is a naturally occurring chemical element, one of the basic building blocks of matter. Scattered throughout the rocks of the Earth's continents and concentrated in its salty oceans, chlorine is an essential nutrient for plants and animals. It is represented by the symbol Cl on the periodic table of elements. Chlorine is naturally reactive, meaning it wants to do something. So, it is almost never found uncombined in nature. Sodium chloride in a Cl or table salt is a common example. Chlorine chemistry provides clean drinking water to millions around the globe. Clean drinking water made possible with chlorine chemistry is a monumental triumph. And chlorine chemistry is also critical to manufacturing thousands of products that define life in the 21st century. In other words, chlorine is trusted and has been trusted for years. So here's a pop quiz for you. Do you know how chlorine actually kills germs? Chlorine kills pathogens such as bacteria and viruses by breaking their chemical bonds. In other words, they exchange atoms with other compounds, such as enzymes and bacteria and other cells. When enzymes come in contact with chlorine, one or more of the hydrogen atoms in the molecules are replaced by chlorine. Remember, chlorine wants to react or do something. This causes the entire molecule to change shape or fall apart. When enzymes do not function properly, a cell or bacterium will die. Simply put, it destroys the DNA. Now, there are two types of free chlorine that kills, hypochlorous acid and hypochlorite ions. How do we differentiate between the two? Chlorine chemistry is pretty cool. It's very interesting in how it works. Again, according to the CDC, chlorine takes on different forms, depending on the pH of the solution. If you notice on the x-axis, we have the pH, and on the y-axis, we have the percent of free available chlorine. Starting on the left, the hypochlorous acid concentration is very high, and the hypochlorite is very low. Notice how that begins to switch as the pH increases. Also notice, at pH 7.5, there is a 50-50 convergence of hypochlorous acid and hypochlorite ion concentration. You can also look at the concentration of hypochlorous acid through a normal distribution here, showing that most of your hypochlorous is between pH 4 and pH 7. Here's a cleaner view. Let's go back to the CDC definition. Notice that it says microbicidal activity of chlorine is attributed largely to hypochlorous acid rather than the lesser form of hypochlorite. Well, why is that? Let's have a look at the process. Again, the goal is to get inside and disrupt the DNA. But notice this outer coating or membrane. In nature, these membranes have a negative charge. When negatively charged hypochlorite ions if you take a look at this little negative sign next to the OCL, attacks a pathogen, the negative charge of the outer membrane repels the OCL. You can think of this like a force field in a sci-fi movie, or like the north and south poles of a magnet. The north will repel the north, and vice versa for the south. Conversely, if you look at the HOCL down below, it's neutral. This allows the HOCl to enter and disrupt the DNA more easily. Wait a minute here. You're probably thinking to yourself, I thought you said both HOCl and OCl kill germs. If the membrane repels the negatively charged OCl, then how does it get in? 
Remember the force field analogy? Well, how do the bad guys penetrate a force field? With a bigger blaster. Chemical companies do this by increasing the pH of the solution to around pH 13 and essentially bludgeon the germ until it cracks, which allows the free chlorine in the form of OCL to enter and disrupt the DNA as described before. A common way to increase pH is to add sodium or calcium, which is why the active ingredient of traditional bleach agents is sodium hypochlorite or calcium hypochlorite. Common side effects of higher pH in additive elements are increased concentration of sodium or calcium leads to residue, high pH with chlorine leads to bleaching, increased toxicity, and a phenomenon known as caustic embrittlement which is a type of corrosion caused by high pH. So why do chemical companies add these things? There are various reasons, and most are in regards to stability of solution for storage, concentration capabilities for shipping, and other supply chain reasons. It has nothing to do with the effectiveness of the actual free chlorine. So let's take a look at the pH scale. We've already covered that hypochlorite's only shot at getting inside is to create a battering ram of sorts with a higher pH. But, as we saw on the charts, hypochlorous acid is most predominant around pH 4 to pH 7. More specifically, we saw that about 75 to 80 percent of the concentration of hypochlorous is at pH 6 to 7, instead of a less than 5 or 10 percent hypochlorous concentration at a pH 10, which is found in traditional products. The reason I bring up pH 6.7 at a 75 to 80 percent concentration, rather than pH 4 to pH 5.5 roughly, at a 95 percent concentration, is that at pH 6 to 7 and 99 percent water in solution, the hypochlorous acid solution essentially fools the pathogen to let it in freely through osmosis. Combined with the neutral charge, as mentioned earlier, this solution sneaks in and destroys the DNA from the inside, preventing resistance. So, as a recap, hypochlorous acid is more effective than hypochlorite ions. Why? Hypochlorous has no charge, so negatively charged membranes don't repel it. Also, hypochlorous at pH 6 to pH 7 resembles water and the germ lets it in freely. Lastly, at pH 6 to pH 7, there is a 75 to 80 percent concentration in solution of hypochlorous acid, resulting in 75 to 80 times more germ killing efficacy. For more information, visit annihilator.com.